In this video, we're going to talk about how to refresh a SharePoint list within Power Apps. So here's my SharePoint list. It's called Test List. It has some basic information, first name, surname, age, gender, and department. And if I come into Power Apps, here's my app which uses that SharePoint list. So again, I've got my field names here. Now, if I want to look at the fields, if I click that, these are all the fields available from that SharePoint list. And I can add a field by clicking this button. So these are the ones which you can add. And these are mainly built in um, fields from the SharePoint list. So if I come to the SharePoint list and I add a brand new column, single line of text, we're going to call that address. And there it is. If I now run my form, we could probably enter some new data there, but for now, we can see we don't have any address field on here. And if we come to the list of fields, select the form, edit fields, nothing is showing here for address. And if I click add field, we can see address is not avail available here either as a field that we can add. So how can we get that field from our SharePoint list to appear here so that we can select it? Well. One way of doing it is to come along to our data sources. So on the view menu, click data sources. And that brings up our SharePoint list data source. And then we can just click here and refresh it. So it's now refreshed, but it's still not showing on our form, the address field. So again, we want to click on our form, select edit fields. We can see it's not showing here either. So if we go to add a field, now it's appearing, address. So if I select that, click add, it's now added to our form right at the bottom. I probably wouldn't want it at the bottom, so on edit fields I now can move it around so I just drag it to where I want it. So perhaps I'd put it there under surname. So on our form we now have that address field. So that's how we can get it onto the screen just by refreshing the data source. Another thing we can do is refresh that data source when the screen is loading. Um, so you'd bring up the screen here and down the side here if I select the on visible property at that point I could put in a refresh command here so refresh And it brings up my data source test list. I close it there, the bracket. So now when I run that form, the SharePoint list is refreshed. So that works on the on visible property of the form. Now keep in mind that the refresh function is only going to update data from the original lists in SharePoint. It's not going to refresh collections. So if you want to refresh collections, then you're going to need to invoke the clear collect function on the SharePoint list. So you do something like clear collect, collection name, and then the SharePoint list name. So I hope that's given you an idea of how to use the refresh command within Power Apps and a SharePoint list.
If you like this video, please click the button to like it, or why not subscribe to my channel? Or you can even download my free Power Apps for Newbies book at www.powerappsfornewbies.com.